In this video, I'm going to go over the library. Uh, when you launch your Create software for the first time, your library is going to be open down here in the corner. But I have mine closed, so I'm going to go ahead and click this library icon right here, and it opens it up. You can also go to Window Library, okay? That's two ways you can open it. Now, I want to go over a couple of glitches, and I want to do it right in the beginning of the video simply because I don't want anyone to have to watch half of the video to find it. Um, I had a couple of issues. I was moving this over, and my mouse slipped, and I lost my library. It's gone. I couldn't find it anywhere. I closed my, or I minimized all my windows and it was just gone. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I broke it. Well, no, I didn't. All I had to do was go to Windows, Workspace, and Basic, and it brought it right back. Okay. So if you do have that issue, um, that's how you fix that. Now, another issue I had was this here is your folders that holds all of your shapes. There's quite a few, actually. There's 12 in that one, 49 in that one, 10 in that one, 44 in this one. So anyway, this is your folders here to access your shapes. And I like to be able to see that there's 51 in this uh, folder without having to use the scroll bar. I want this window open some more. So I opened it. I'm not going to do it now, but I opened it. and. When I went to close it, it this is very, very touchy. I suggest not using it now. I suggest hovering <laughs> and looking at the number. Because what happened was when I moved it back, it went so fast that it went way over here. So what I ended up with was all my shapes, but no folders. I couldn't choose anything, okay? And what I had to do was close the software down. And you don't want to have to do that. So on to this library. You can make the window taller. You can make it wider. Um, the slider down here, you can um, make your images smaller. But if you hover over them, look at how huge they are. That's great. I love that. Now, you can increase the size in this window with this slider, but it doesn't increase any the tile any more than that thumbnail. Okay. See, they're still the same size. All right, so that's that. And then you have a search bar. You can, well, let's just start here. Um, so here are your folders, like I said, with all your images in them, okay? And then down here you have my designs. Now I have a plus sign because I have added some stuff. I put in a few flourishes and frames and I have here and I have some more here, but there's quite a few in here. It takes a second to load, so I'm not going to click on that. But um, in my designs, I have the option of deleting a file or adding it to favorites or reveal the file to tell me where exactly it's located on my computer. Now, from this software is based off of the Shortcuts a Lot software and in one of the videos that I watched, they said that if you import a design of your own into your My Designs folder and you right click and you delete it, it deletes it from your entire computer. So I don't suggest using that. If you're going to put stuff in here, make sure you're going to want it to stay. I tested it. And it worked fine. My image was still on my computer. So I don't know if that's something that was fixed in the Create software from the Shortcuts a Lot software, but I don't want to take the chance of losing files either. So, and I don't want you to lose any. <clears throat> okay, so that's that. So, how do I add something here? Well, you go to My Designs or you, or you choose a a folder here. So I'm going to just go click on my designs. And then up here, I can add a new folder or I 
have a delete here, I can, so the delete would work for one of my folders that I created, okay? It's not gonna work for my designs because that's actually built into the software, okay? Um, if I'm on my designs and I want to add something, I click on this page here, and then I'm gonna do this test here, and there it is. Now, when I right click and delete this, it's still on my desktop. So I did test it, but I still recommend you testing it to make sure Okay, because I don't want you losing anything. Okay, so now you can go to my designs, you can search and anything in your designs as well as anything in here is gonna show up. So for instance, let's just choose library and let's type in heart and hit enter or you can hit this little search star uh magnifying glass over here now this right here is one of my designs but well one of my designs that i uploaded it has the word heart in it if you hover over it if you look right here it tells you what they are okay what the file name is actually so that's the search and then I think that was it. Oh, your design downloads and recent downloads are from the eShape store, and I'll show you that at the end of the video because you have to go here and you have to create an account and then you have to sign in, and I'll show you how I did that, okay? So now what I want to go over is your favorites. If I open favorites, which I don't actually have anything in there yet, so let's just go back to the basic shapes and I like this heart. So if I click on it, it puts it on my um, desktop or on my mat, I'm sorry. And I can also left click and drag. Okay, that's how you get this stuff onto your workspace. All right, now I want to add this to my favorites, but how would I do that? Because if I select it, it ends up going over here well you right click that's how you do it i forgot add to favorites i'm sorry i knew there was a way okay so let's go on um this here and let's say i want to add this to my favorites okay so I right click and add to favorites here's also where you can delete and reveal your file like i showed you before now this instructions is for your e-store or your e shapes and if you order something like you know a paper project i believe that's what these are layouts um it, it may come with instructions okay <clears throat> so where you're going to find those is in your downloads all right so anyway back to favorites so did i not save anything let's go back to basic shapes and let's right click on this heart and add to favorites okay now there's one i go here and here it is but i don't want that one remove from favorites right click remove from favorites okay so that goes over everything there except for these two and i will get to those at the end now i can't get my search to clear you would think that after I've searched something and found it and clicked on a different folder, it would go away, but it doesn't. The only thing I can do is highlight it and hit backspace or delete on my keyboard. All right, so on to the next tab, which is fonts. Oh my gosh, if y'all are used to using like the Windows character map to find your glyphs and stuff that come, your extras that come with fonts when you purchase them, or even like the I Love Glitter comes with some, you're going to have the same view of all your fonts can, that are um, installed on your computer over here for easy viewing, okay? You have a scroll bar to scroll through them all, see what's in there. You can, again, make everything large. 
Um, and then let's try, you can uh, type in a letter. Like I'm going to type in the letter I. But I actually don't have I Love Glitter on here. I think I have one that's called Hello Honey. Yeah, I have Hello Honey. And if I look through here, you can see I have the hearts. Okay. Um, but these are accessed by a character map outside of design space so the i love glitter font is actually keystrokes so i'm not sure because i don't have it i like the hello honey better you'll have to look at yours if if you use that font but anyways yeah here they all are and oh my gosh is this so much nicer and you can do the same thing with favorites this is a little bit easier. Um, you can choose a font and you can add it to your favorites. And then when you click on this tab here where it says all and go to favorites, then it's listed here. Okay. And go back to all. And, you know, just choose a different font. I'll go with Bambi Bold and you can view all of that see if there's any extras which there doesn't seem to be but i think this is great because i can see those with no problem and i don't think anybody else is going to have either and then this project so if i click on this project i can see now i was working on here earlier and i actually did have the samantha font um typed out so let me go back to my favorites and let me choose Samantha <clears throat> and let me type out my name. You got to go to the text tool, type out my name, and I'm going to select the R and I'm going to come down here to my extra, my pretty letters in the Samantha font. Oh, but I need the large, the uppercase. Okay, and I'm going to change that R. And then I'm going to highlight the D. Just left click and drag to highlight. I need the D's. G. Here we go. D. Okay. Um, let's do this. Okay, then I'll select it and I'll make it larger so you can see it. And it's that easy. Like, even if I wanted a different font for this letter here right all i'd have to do is go back to my text tool and highlight it and let's go to i don't know the hello honey font and let's find the r capital r which i think is here say i wanted that r okay and you can decrease the space and stuff. I'll show you that when I get over here to this, um, these panels. But this is very nice. I love this. So the next tab that we have up here is projects. So if I go to my projects, it shows all the projects that I have saved. And that you can delete these. I wouldn't suggest deleting them from here. I would go to your uh, file explorer and go to your documents and StarCraft Create and go to My Projects. And that lists all of your projects. And if you don't need them anymore, then you can delete them from there. Um, because like I said, I don't know for sure if you delete stuff out of the library, if it's going to delete um stuff permanently from your computer i mean someone did say that that's what it does but i keep my stuff on an external hard drive so maybe that's why it didn't delete it for me 
permanently. I did test it, but I don't know. Maybe I tested it wrong. Maybe I was in my external hard drive rather than in my file folders. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't delete anything from here. All right. So then moving on. All right. So I'm going to come back to my shapes and make sure I covered everything. Oh, here we have the tiles that you see, or you can change it to list. The only problem with list is when you hover over it, it doesn't enlarge it. So I don't like that. I would much rather have these here. Okay. And I'm still in my search, obviously, because I don't have all my basic shapes. There we go. All right. So I believe I covered it all. So that takes us to creating marketplace which is right up here at the top on the right hand side that was in my earlier videos the e-store or then I think it changed to just the store and now it is create marketplace and will be create marketplace so if I click here it's going to open up your web browser and here you have a lot of information and more coming inspiration education getting started with the solo SVG vector cuttable designs fonts full color designs and just for fun uh, these are links to other pages, blogs, or videos, and it's a great resource. So I just wanted to go over that right quick because I had mentioned the store and that has since changed. So that does it for the library and Create Marketplace, so thanks for watching.